the dishes they brought out for the tapas menu tonight. Octopi. Whoa. Get my tentacles around that. Oh. A nice balsamic glaze on top of that. Very tender. Oh, it's roasted so nice. This is very good. You're going to like that. Wow. Nice and tender, it's moist. And just with a little bit of this sauce on top, it's perfect. So I'm about to dip my spoon into this delicious shrimp. It's amazing. Amazing. The shrimp is cooked to perfection. Okay, my sangria. Take one. Am I going to be able to walk later? What? Am I going to be able to walk? Uh, I'd uh, suggest Uber, yeah. Probably be the best idea. It's so good, you can't just have one. You gotta have a few of them. I didn't order a pitcher, just one. Oh, one turns to two, two turns to three. Positive. Think positive. No fruit? Real fruit has been marinating in brandy overnight. So make sure you eat that. You'll be good to go. Oh, you saw Chris make this thing for me. This is his version of the red sangria. I've had red sangria all over the world. Let's give this a shot. Oh, wow. The fruit has been soaking in brandy. Think about that. This is wonderful. Try it when you get here. So we're here at La Taberna. I'm going to try some chorizo that was brought out for us. So, cheers. You know that we left also a sick. I feel like I do the same thing every time, but it's delicious. I always use to order chorizo. Potato croquette dipped in a delicious, I think it's like a Russian dressing sauce. Mmm. Delicious. Very good. Oh, that's delicious. That's nice. I taste the apple. That's really good. The fruit was soaked in brandy overnight. Oh, very nice. And this was handmade for you, wasn't it? Right. By Chris. Enjoy. So, Julio, tell me about chorizo. Chorizo, uh, Spanish chorizo. I, I love chorizo. Very good. Um, and I like to put it in the bread and make a choripan. We call it a choripan. Well, go ahead. So, it's like that. Oh, he's making chorizo sandwich. Chorizo sandwich. In Spanish, it's a choripan. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. A little sangria. You have it made. Empanada. There you go. Whoa. La Taberna for having a little tapas action. We can. We can. And right now, I've just sunk in my fork into a beef empanada that's fried. I can do it. She thinks she can. And she hates Dip it into a little sauce. I just wanted her here because I need food. It's bursting with flavor. It's delicious. So. I already had the beef and uh, I almost said empanada like you did. <laughs> empanada. Um, so now I'm going to try the chicken. The flaky um, patelio that is surrounding it is delicious. It's super soft. This, it's a spicy sauce. So if you like spice and if you're Hispanic of any form, obviously you like spice. This is delicious. So let's see how it tastes. Mm. The chicken is so soft. So much flavor. They did a really great job. Nice. You'll enjoy. Okay, I'm here with Paul. He's the editor and the publisher of Dining at New Jersey. So let me ask you a question. Why should restaurants consider having all these bloggers come in for a tasting? 
Well, it's simple. Very uh, get maximum exposure in addition to the excellent exposure they already get in Dining Out Magazine. This just adds a whole another level of exposure. Check out hey, this yeah. with the fingerling potatoes. Oh, that's like a dark uh, big rice pork chop. Too big. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh. Roast pork, take one. Mm, nice grilled flavor to it. Very tasty. I'm gonna try it with the applesauce next. Chunks of applesauce in the applesauce for the pork. That's amazing. All right, let's see how this turns out. That's really good. I'm not gonna lie. That's nice. Potato. Fingerling potato. It is. Very pretty presentation. Yes, it's tasty. This is the pan seared salmon with the mustard dill sauce. Looks wonderful. Let's see how it tastes. Carne asada, take one. Check out this steak sandwich they gave me. With fried onions on it too, no less. Here I go. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, is it crumpled like? I want to try the flan. Oh my gosh. Is it amazing? Creme brulee, cream color. It almost looks like it's flavored, right? Go ahead, give a shot. Let me get a fork. I'm sorry. It tastes like an amazing creme brulee. No extra flavoring, it's, that's the classic. Good. The whole thing looks good. Cheesecake. I like flan. For some reason, I could bathe in flan. I'm gonna give this, this one looks like it's got a flavor to it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. Cream de lait? Let's give that a shot. Oh man, is that good. Oh. Okay, so I'm here in Dumont at La Taverna. We had a wonderful meal tonight. Yes, we a did. nice tasting meal. Mary, Sally. Finger looking good according to Mary. Yep, it was finger looking good, but I got smacked when I tried to lick somebody's finger. Well, Watch where we go next time. Watch for us. <laughs>